I'm Sabrina with an extended version of the news you need to know. The news today is about action that will help your restaurant reopen someday, rehire your workers, and get back to business. By now, you've heard about the massive $2 trillion federal bill to help reduce the economic fallout from coronavirus. We sent you information about that last week and have more coming, but that bill won't be enough to ensure California restaurants will reopen. So here at home, we're urging swift state action to help get you through this crisis. The CRA is asking Governor Newsom and state lawmakers for these things. A postponement of property tax payments normally due on April 10th. A deferral of sales and payroll tax payments. You'll eventually make the payments, but we're asking the state to give you more time. Business continuity insurance. The coronavirus has led to the closure of half of California's restaurants, and the rest are only open for delivery or takeout. If that's not business interruption, then what is? The state must help find a solution when insurers say they won't cover losses. A delay in the next minimum wage increase. When the legislature voted to rapidly increase minimum wage, lawmakers crafted off-ramps in the law that would delay these increases in case of an economic downturn. And we've never seen a downturn this bad. Bouncing back is tougher to do with more minimum wage increases scheduled in July, and then again at the beginning of the year. Fee deferrals. All annual, local, and state government fees should be forgiven for the remainder of the year, including alcohol beverage control fees, health permit fees, and business license fees. Eviction protection. While Governor Newsom's executive order encourages local governments to move forward on this front, a statewide policy for business leases is essential. As for utilities, gas, electric, and telecommunications must continue without payment during this emergency. Then there's swipe fees. When restaurant dining rooms were shut down, that meant some events had to be canceled, which means restaurants are on the hook to payment processors for a fee for an event that never happened. The state should call on those processors to waive or refund those fees. A health insurance premium deferral. Restaurants who have furloughed workers and are paying both the employee and employer portion of health insurance should receive a waiver or deferral on premium payments. If these same restaurants terminated the employee, that person would lose health insurance at the worst possible time. Businesses should be incentivized to continue to hang on to their employees. Unemployment insurance. Freezing unemployment insurance rate increases would help many small businesses. They've had to unexpectedly lay off high numbers of people. Since March 16th, the day after Governor Newsom's announcement that California restaurants should shut their dining rooms, the CRA has been working with the governor's chief economic advisors and many state agencies to offset the devastating effects of shutdowns. We appreciate what the governor and his leadership team have done. They've modified the state WARN Act. They've allowed takeout and delivery of alcohol with food purchases. And they've extended the deadline to pay income tax to July 15th. It's just that there's so much more that needs to be done to save restaurants. So we're also reminding lawmakers, California's restaurants help anchor thousands of neighborhoods. They employ 1.4 million people and generate more sales tax than any other industry. And that pays for critical public services. The majority of California restaurants are independently owned by people who live in the same community where they serve their guests. Getting restaurants open, workers employed, and tax receipts flowing will be the first step in the state's recovery. Would you like a copy of our letter to the governor and state lawmakers? Click on the link in the description below. I'm Sabrina. I'll see you back here in a few days.